So today we're gonna be grooming a Frenchie. His name is Ghost. And we're gonna start with what we normally do when we start bathing or we start the grooming process when we come to a client's house. We're gonna start first off by getting the dog inside the van and bringing him into the table. So first we're gonna start with checking out the ears. So you wanna zoom in here to the ears. We wanna make and inspect the ears and make sure the ears are clean. If there's any infections or anything going on with their ears, uh, there's nothing going on. You go ahead and go right in. It's not gonna hurt them. And you see it's very dirty. You go right in there. Not all the way, but just enough. Maybe like, you can see like a quarter of a, my, my quarter of my finger about right here and clean the leather, do a couple passes. It's alcohol based, so it's gonna dry up. It helps with uh, removing moisture as well when we bathe them. And then we go with the nails. Always good to clip the nails you know, before bathing, just because if in case you clip the nails and it bleeds and let's say it's a white dog, you can stop the bleeding and, you know, and then continue with the bath and then it won't get, you know, all with blood after it's groomed and dried and everything. So you can see the nails are kind of like already, they're, they're curling up a little bit. So on these, instead of fouling, I'll, I'll go in here and clip. You grab it here very carefully. It's black nail, so you really can't tell where the quick is. So you could barely tell it's like right there, just the tips. This one's the tips. This one's a little bit longer here. So we go in here and we clip away. Here's the other one. This one is also kind of long already. So with the experience, I could tell where the quick is, but we just do the tips here. Okay, good boy, ghost, good boy. I'm gonna do here, just clip the tips. Tips, the dew claws also, dew claws always grow. All right, we'll clip there. Let me go to the back nails. The back nails usually hardly ever get long because this is how they they run, so they file down themselves. See, I cut it right there. It didn't hurt them, but this is why we have septic powder. Septic powder stops the bleeding. There's a little yellow powder that we use. We put it on here, and that helps stop the bleeding. That's why it's very important to get your dog's nails clipped on a regular so the quick doesn't grow and uh, it doesn't hurt them. But as you can see, I already stopped the bleeding. Uh, here, maybe the tip as well. The nails were white, you can see better where the quick is, so that's why I just like to do the tips on black nails. I like to file off the nails because in that way it doesn't scratch the owners when we're done. Just the edges. We'll go ahead and use a rubber a rubber curry. This is a good de-shedding tool. Good de-shedding tool with these cones. Kind of brush off any dead undercoat first that we have, that the dog may have. We'll remove that first. Ghost is not that bad. He's not shedding that bad. But there's sometimes dogs that do shed a lot. So that's why we like to do this first. All of our mobile units have water temperature controlled. So your dogs are getting bathed with warm water, not cold water, all right? Just rinse them down real quick. The owners gave me a medicated shampoo because the dog has some kind of skin issues. So we're gonna use what they gave us. We have our own, but the client gave us this medicated shampoo. We're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes, right? We're gonna put it on the dog. Get in between the toes, very important. In between the toes, it gets very dirty as well. See, he has some like, some skin problems here, some inflammation. So we put some of the shampoo on there on the toes 
and we let it sit for about five minutes. Do the same thing on the other one. It's okay. That's why he moves a lot. It's very sensitive there for him. All right, we just let it sit for a couple minutes. We'll let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll rinse off. All right, now it's been over five minutes. We'll go ahead and rinse ghost off. I like to do two washes. It's the best thing to do to get them really clean, two washes, and then we always apply conditioner. But because Ghost has a skin issue, uh, we'll just apply what the doctor recommends, and that's it, because he might be allergic to certain ingredients in the conditioners. Uh, even though my products are all natural, they have aloe vera, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and a lot of natural oils. But still, I'd rather go with what the client instructed was to use their shampoo only, and that's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and leave this on for another couple minutes only. But while we do that, wash his face. Put some cotton balls in their ears. We don't want water to get in the ears, so we make sure we put some cotton balls. And we won't get any water inside his ears. And we like to do it this way from the back. I like to put it like this instead of spraying it on their face, just let it go down. Just like this because of their nose. They have breathing problems, so I like to do it this way. I don't like to I don't like to spray it straight on their face. I just like to put it down here and like that. And that's it, okay. It's okay. Alright, it's okay. And then grab a little bit of shampoo. And we just are careful very much with the eyes. So we wanna just do it this way. You have to be very careful with the eyes because it can irritate them. All right, go ahead and rinse off the body. Let that sit in the face for a little bit. And now we blow dry. So that we'll towel dry him up, blow dry him, and then I'll show you what our last and final touches are. So that's it for the blow drying. We dried Ghost up everywhere real good. We did the face, the paws, the bottom of his stomach, the back end, his hind quarters, everything. He's all set. We typically apply leave-on conditioners. We put on perfumer cologne on the dog, but because Ghost has some inflammation going on around his face, his eyes, and his skin, and we're using a medicated shampoo, we don't apply any of that. Normal dog that has no skin issues, then we could go ahead and apply all those other products. I will give him some Tropic Clean dental cleaning. Um, we can do that, and uh, we'll, we'll spurt some in his mouth. It's okay, it's okay. All right, you're all set. And that was it, so it's very simple. And uh, that concludes our groom for today with Ghost, our friendship. Thank you for watching.